Hey everyone, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video, we're gonna break down the updated best tips and tricks for visiting Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And there are a lot of changes coming to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party as of 2024 forward. So that's why we decided to create this video just to break down. This is gonna be more so like how I would tackle and plan to hit all the rides, get everything done that you wanna get done at your Mickey is Not So Scary Halloween Party. And this is kind of a new video for us. We're gonna try a couple different things. I'm gonna show you some of the wait time data that we are looking at to help you be as prepared as possible. So if you are in the process of planning that Mickey is Not So Scary Halloween Party night, just be sure to stick around till the end of this video. As always, I'm very excited, so let's go get started. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out this video. Like I said, I am about to break down and help you plan the most amazing Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party Night. And I am gonna be showing you a lot of wait time data and essentially helping you pick which rides you should go on, which rides you might wanna go on before the party officially starts at seven o'clock. Some of the restaurants are gonna be open. I'm essentially just breaking down everything new as of 2024 that you can plan and use for this year's Mickey's Not So Scary. And also you'll be able to use this video in the future as well. So we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna start with really one of the biggest changes to come to this year's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and that is gonna be, it was recently announced that both Tiana's Bayou Adventure and Tron Light Cycle Run will be open and have standby queues for this year's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now, as of two, you know, for 2023, last year, they did have Tron, which is one of the newest rides at Magic Kingdom Park, on a virtual queue. That is no longer the case, specifically only for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now, how this will play out, and you know, we're still going to have to pay attention and see like what do wait times look like. Is it worth it for you all to go on you know these two rides, or when is the best time to go on these two rides? We don't have any data on this just yet. I have a feeling that these probably will be the two most popular rides. So you do just have to be mindful of that. And my honest opinion is if you're still trying to get the most out of your Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party from a wait time standpoint, avoiding the rides with the longest waits, I would try to get on these two rides either between the four to seven o'clock window. If you're going to Magic Kingdom Park during a regular ticket, a regular park day, I would try to hit it then. Now, the I guess tip and trick is to keep in mind that you do get into Magic Kingdom Park at four o'clock with your Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party ticket. So the party officially starts at seven o'clock. You get an extra three hours to try to tackle, you know, as many rides as possible to go and maybe go grab a bite to eat. You do have those extra three hours. You can also, with your wristband, go into some of the special character meet and greets that are included. So that's an important tip and trick to keep in mind. I actually recently did a video, we just released it on some of the biggest mistakes to avoid. So definitely be sure to go check out that video as well if you do want even more tips and tricks once you're done watching this one. But these are just some of the different ones that we're picking up. So let's jump into the data. And so what we did essentially is we're looking at a couple different things when it comes to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I'm taking a look at ticket pricing. And then what me and my team also did is we actually went and we put together all of the wait time data from the 2023 parties. And we were able to do a lot of of really fun and interesting stuff with this data to try to help you figure out, okay, what are the best rides to go on? What are the best nights to visit? What are the cheap, cheapest ticket prices? That sort of thing. So we'll jump into this Excel sheet in a few, but let's start essentially with ticket prices, right? And what I thought was interesting was from a ticket pricing standpoint, if you're a family and you're trying to save the most on tickets, you are still gonna find the cheapest ticket prices within August. Right now, what we're seeing is on average, most of the nights outside of the opening night are gonna be around $119 per person per adult and then it's always going to be ten dollars cheaper for kids so when we're looking at this data what i thought was interesting was like i said all of august you're going to find the cheapest ticket pricing we're around 119 dollars now when we go up to september september on average your ticket pricing in the beginning of september is going to be around 129 dollars per night and then later in September, it's gonna be $149 per night, but where it gets really interesting, and you can see our tickets on theparkprodigy.com are discounted a little bit, so you could you know save a little extra money. But what I thought was interesting, right, we're going from $129 in early September, we were in 119 in August. When you start visiting later in October, it jumps all the way up to early October is essentially $179, all the way up to $199 later in October. So as you can see, it's almost um, $60 more 
right, on average to go in October as opposed to August. So if, again, if you're a family and you are stretching a, a very, very you know, tight budget, but you want to go and experience Mickey's Not So Scary, my honest opinion and the tip and trick would be to go in August when ticket prices are the cheapest. Now, diving into the next important thing to keep in mind. So we're kind of figuring out, okay, so tickets are cheapest in August. Does that mean that wait times would be the lowest in August? And from what we're seeing, the slowest month to visit Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is going to be September. So it is slightly. So what I did was I kind of came here and again, we pretty much took what was the average wait time for all of the rides that are open for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now, this list does not include Tron Light Cycle Run. It's important to keep in mind again because that's going to be different this year. But long story short, what we did was the first and foremost thing I did was I actually just averaged, okay, what is the average wait time for all of the rides for each night? And then as you could see here, August had an average wait time of 13 minutes for all of the rides, actually 13 minutes and 40 seconds. September had an average wait time of 12 minutes and 78 seconds. And then October had an average wait time of 13 minutes and 62 seconds. So August and October actually weren't that different. So again, I just feel like if you're gonna save money in August, that it really is the biggest benefit because from a wait time standpoint, there's not that much. Now granted, this is not huge, but when you get into statistics and stuff like this, the numbers don't lie. I do think, you know, overall September really is the best um, month to visit. And really when we kind of pinpoint and we break down what are the exact best days, it's really gonna be towards the beginning of September. Uh, you know, on an, on an average wait time, those are really gonna be the best nights to visit. The beginning of September typically are the best nights to visit Mickey is not so scary. So you can plan a trip around that. Now, jumping into the rides, what we wanted to do is we wanted to try to figure out, you know, you're coming to Mickey is not so scary Halloween party. Now the next tip and trick is which are the rides with the biggest wait time. So essentially these are the rides that you might not want to go on during your Mickey is not so scary Halloween party night. Of course, because you only have, you know, five hours to get as much done as possible. And there's not only rides open there as Mickey's Not So Scary, there's parade, there's fireworks, there's trick-or-treating, there's special character meet and greets. There's so much going on within this event. This is why it's so important. And we've never created a video like this where I sh I've shown you the data that we're looking at, but I just kind of feel like this is so important and this will help you figure out and come up with a, a ride list of what do we tackle during the party, what do we tackle not during the party, you know, if we're going especially specifically during a regular day to Magic Kingdom or like I said four to seven o'clock those extra three hours you might want to try to get these rides out of the way so the rides with the biggest average wait time during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween parties are going to be Haunted Mansion, Peter Pan's Flight. So Haunted Mansion had an average wait time of 33 minutes. Peter Pan's Flight had an average wait time of 33 minutes as well. We have Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, an average wait time of 37 minutes, and that actually was the biggest one. So the three main rides that you really want to keep an eye on, which have the biggest wait times, and you might want to avoid and try to go on them beforehand, are going to be Haunted Mansion, Peter Pan's Flight, and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So then the next thing we did, now the next tip and trick would be, so which rides have the biggest value? And essentially what I did down here was I went and I looked at what is the average wait time for these rides for 2024. So this is essentially a regular day at Magic Kingdom Park. What is the average wait time for these rides? And then what I tried to do is I said, okay, by a percentage basis, which rides save you these most time on a percentage basis. And what we essentially have to look for here is the lower the number, the bigger the savings. So you know, here you could see the higher the number, the essentially the less savings from an average wait time standpoint. So the rides that we felt will save you the most time and you wanna to try to tackle during your Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party were Big Thunder Mountain, Buzz Lightyear. So Dumbo is on here, but again, when you look at the average wait time, really these two rides do have a substantial where you're going from an average wait time during a regular day of 38 minutes for Big Thunder down to 10, average wait time for Buzz of 31 minutes down to 10, the other um, important ones are going to be, so It's a Small World made the list, but Jungle Cruise is another huge one. Average wait time of 48 minutes on an average day down to 12. And then so we're jumping over to Pirates of the Caribbean. We're going from an average wait time of 26 minutes down to 11. Then we have Face Mountain, average wait time of 59 minutes down to 21. The Barnstormer, average wait time of 20 minutes down to six. Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, average wait time of 34 minutes down to 11. Long story short, which rides will give you the biggest value? Which rides will you save the most time by going on during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party? In my opinion, we have Big Thunder Mountain, Buzz Lightyear, Jungle Cruise, Space Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean, 
and Winnie the Pooh. Those are the rides that will save you on an average basis the most time. Now, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, you could see here, it has an average wait time on a, of a regular day of 72 minutes down to 37. Can you go for it? Yes, 100%. Do I think though this ride is really so hit or miss, right? Where you don't know what could go on. You could end up with an average wait time of you know an hour. And if you have a five hour event, would you wanna do that? No, I think for this ride, you really have to time it right during the party. And that's why I just felt like it, it shouldn't make the list. If you can go on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Peter Pan's Flight or Haunted Mansion, any other time, I definitely would do that. The other tip and trick is which is the ride with the, you know, the, the worst value when it comes to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And it makes sense. It is the Haunted Mansion just because it's a Halloween event and everyone wants to go on this ride. If you can avoid it, I just feel like you would get so much more done. Hey, listen though, if you can't, the other tip and trick would be to go on as early in the event as possible or as late as night at night as possible to get the biggest value. So some of the other important things and the cool things to keep in mind from a ride standpoint and Mickey's not so scary is there are actually three rides that are what they call you know overlays. So you can experience Space Mountain in pitch black darkness while listening to spooky tunes. Then over at the Mad Tea Party, you'll have special lighting effects providing a unique ambiance and experience. And then you can get a kick out of fun jokes presented with a Halloween twist at Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. So this is essentially just the ride stuff that we're looking at, guys. If you do want this um, Excel sheet, just email me, mike at theparkprodigy.com, and I will be happy to go ahead and send you this Excel sheet so you can create your own custom park plan to get the most out of your experience. But we have a lot more tips and tricks in this video. And don't forget, if you are finding this video helpful to this point, and it does seem like you need more Disney World planning videos just like this, just be sure to go subscribe to our channel as I'm working on a lot more similar videos just like this coming out in the coming weeks. And we would love to help you on a Walt Disney World vacation, Disney cruise, or Disneyland vacation. And if you do need a Disney World custom quote, there's actually a link in our show notes. You can get help from me personally and my team, and we will send you some custom Disney World vacation package pricing. Okay, but back to the tips and tricks. And this is another huge one this year that is new for 2024. And there is actually an earlier parade showing. So Disney changed the times of their parade for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. And the earliest one is actually going to be at 8.15 this year, which I do think is a huge benefit for families who are visiting with young kids, right? Because even, you know, staying out past seven o'clock for, you know, really, really young kids can be tough, especially if you've been in the parks all day. So I do think this is a game changer. And where it gets complicated is the new parade show times are actually 8.15, and 11.15. But when we tie this into the fireworks show, the fireworks show is still gonna be at 10 o'clock. Where this comes from is, this is important for guests who might be going to Mickey's Not So Scary, specifically for all the theme stuff, like the trick-or-treating, the parade, the fireworks, the, you know, the Hocus Pocus show on, you know, in front of the castle. One of the old school tips that I used to do was if the uh, parade was at 8.45, I would go and act, I would actually get my spot at 8.15 on, on Main Street. And I would know that from 8.15 to really 10.15 after the fireworks were done, I was essentially just hanging out on Main Street, but I had my great spot for the parade. And then I would just sit there and stay there and you know maybe check out the Hocus Pocus show from my spot, but I would just wait till the fireworks. But this changes it so much because if the first parade is at 8.15, like I said, if you have to show up, let's say even a half hour early to get a good spot, that's it's adding really, in my opinion, an extra half hour onto you essentially just being on Main Street. So it kind of makes it difficult. Now, saying you can't do the same thing from a 11.15 standpoint, that might be the move where at least you pick up an extra half hour where if the fireworks are at 10 o'clock, you want to get a good spot. Maybe you show up at you know 9.15, 9.30, and you just know that you're staying in that spot until 11.15. Or maybe this gives you the flexibility to more so wing it and less families will be staying for that parade at 11.15. So you can pretty much show up at 9.15, 9.30, get a good spot for the fireworks, then go hop on some rides and then come back maybe at like 10.45, you know, 11 o'clock and be able to grab a good spot for that second parade. Th these are just the things that like, you do have to be mindful of just because they're these are so popular during these events that if you wanna get a good spot for photos, stuff like that, you do have to be, show be mindful and you show up early. You, if you don't care and you're just like, hey, you know, we'll catch the fireworks doesn't matter where I see it from then you have a lot of flexibility but these are just some of the new things that we have to keep in mind 
for this year. Now, another little quick tip and trick that I found interesting is that Disney actually does offer sign language um, nights specifically for the uh, per the fireworks. And those nights are gonna be August 23rd, September 26th, and October 24th. Another cool tip and trick that I love to do is, again, especially if you're staying there for that two hour window to make sure you have the best spot possible, go and grab your spot, then assign one, sign someone kind of like the snack leader, <laughs> and they have to go get the popcorn, the ice cream, all the snacks essentially for the entire group so you don't lose your spot. That's another one that I really, really love. But sticking with food, don't forget that there are um, certain quick service spots that are open during Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, so you can take advantage of those on top of all the trick-or-treating candy that you do get. And the spots that are open are going to be Casey's Corner, Pico's Bill, the Friar Nook, Pinocchio's Village House, and then Sleepy Hollow. And then also, you'll see, if you go and watch that um, Mistakes to Avoid, I actually said that one of the biggest mistakes is kind of eating during the event just because you're trying to get so much done in such a short amount of time. If you did want to go and book a table service restaurant, Disney does have Be Our Guest, Cinderella's um, Royal Table, and the Plaza open for reservations. And then also Disney does have dessert parties back as of 2024. And one of the other things that I would keep in mind for the dessert parties is from my past experiences, it's the same dessert parties as a regular firework night in Magic Kingdom. So I don't want to see you booking this, you know, hoping that it's like specially themed desserts and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it hasn't been in the past. I don't know if it's going to be different for this year, but I do think that's important to keep in mind. And last but not least, don't forget that there are specialty magic uh, photo opportunities throughout this event. So if you are upgrading your discounted Disney World tickets or vacation package and you're adding the photo pass, you can take advantage of that during your Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party event. But that is it, everyone. This is kind of the little different little tips and tricks for being as prepared as possible for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I do hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you found looking at the wait time data just as interesting as I find it. You guys were kind of tackling and coming up with our game plans for the park. And like I said, if you are in the process of planning that Disney World trip and you do need a little additional help, just be sure to go check out our website, theparkprodigy.com. And as a thank you for sticking around all the way till the end of this video, I do have a special promo code you can go use on a Disney World vacation package to save an extra $50 off. And that promo code is going to be MAGIC50. But I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys again so, so much for checking out this video. And until next time, I will talk to you soon.